is going on fam we are live we're live we're live Whew, okay i'm just trying to make sure this thing is connected properly because that kind of disconnected from my bike oh, and we're back another day another live stream on my salt bike this little demon over here anyway guys today my topic is how to get a big chest how do you get a nice big chest this is one of the questions that I've got quite a lot, and most of my most of my um, topics on like you know my live streams and everything are based on questions you guys have asked. So I always try and cover things to help you guys as much as possible. And today my topic of the day is how do you get a nice big chest? Okay, very nice and simple. You guys all know when it comes to growing the muscle. Okay, first things that's involved, you need to be able to train properly and you need to be able to eat and supplement well. So, let's get started with our training. How do you get a big chest, okay? First of all, cut out, I wouldn't say cut out, but don't prioritize lots of cable fly movements and all of that. Save them for later, okay? First of all, prioritize big compound movements like your bench press. I'm telling you this because these are the bigger stimulating exercises. You're gonna basically be engaging your whole chest and it's a compound movement for a reason too. You don't have to go straight to a barbell bench press or a dumbbell bench press because that requires a lot more control. You can start on the machine chest press, okay? You're still gonna be hitting your overall chest. After, you know, you get comfortable with doing the machine chest press and then you can move on to the barbell or dumbbell bench press. Now, when you move on to a barbell or dumbbell bench press, which is going to be awesome for your chest growth, you also need some control, so you're going to have to work your core. Make sure that core is nice and tight while you're working. So, there's a few things to take into consideration when it comes to building a big chest, okay? The first thing is progressive overload, which is actually a rule with training anyway. In general, if you want to get bigger, you're going to progressively overload while periodizing your training, okay? So periodization just generally means in a time period how your body, you are changing up your workouts, how you're progressing over time, okay? So, ideally, when it comes to building a good chest, one of the biggest things, after increasing the weight, sets, reps, whatever, is frequency. You gotta be able to be more frequent with your training. What's up, Graf, how are we? more frequent when you're training, but you can't just train chest every day. Thanks for hitting the like button. So how can you be more frequent when you're training, okay? Now this is very, very simple, okay? Very, very simple, very, very easy. Train your chest, once it recovers, hit it again. Train your chest, once it recovers, hit it again. Train your chest, once it recovers, hit it again. So this is important when it comes to this one, I mean by frequency. And this works for generally moist muscle groups as well too. You can grow, most of your legs, your shoulders, how's it going so us, how are we? You can grow most of your muscle groups by increasing your frequency of your training. So, it's a little trick, it's a little secret. Guys, when you jump into the live stream, make sure you say hi. Now, let's talk about training, let's talk about nutrition, okay? What foods do you want to eat to get big chest, okay? And it's just like any other muscle group you're trying to grow, okay? You need glycogen stores, you need carbohydrates, you need your pasta, you need your rice, you need your sweet potato. Oh, what a legend! Massive, 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 massive shout out to Graf for the super chat. You're the real MVP. For that, I'm gonna do a sprint on here. Woo! Woo! Thanks for the super chat. You're the real MVP. You are an absolute legend. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thanks for the super chat. Um, getting back on topic. Thanks, legends. Woo, making me tired. <laughs> Food, nutrition. What can you eat for a bigger chest, right? Let's talk about food. Carbohydrates, your body needs carbs. In order for you to be bench pressing more, train, especially things like your chest upper body movements. You're gonna really rely on these carbohydrates. So, don't go to the gym starving yourself. Eat, eat, eat. Now here's a little trick for you when it comes to supplementation. 
when if you want to get a bigger chest or any muscle group or feel stronger on these muscle groups you can also have a good electrolyte balance now what are electrolytes okay you know the sodiums um, calcium magnesium everything has to be in good balance your sodium potassium levels one of the biggest things now if you want to train more efficiently you need good, you need a good amount of electrolyte concentration in your body your body needs some of these electrolytes for muscle activation so you can feel stronger you can set records you can hit bigger weight so before you train you can include electrolytes that can be like a gatorade powery i personally like hydrolyte um, because i just mix in the powder and i can actually control the concentration myself so these are some of the things that are going to help you stay quite efficient when you're training so you can train your chest more efficiently so you see how that all that sits in together now let's also look at frequency of training okay like i said we train you're going to be able to train your chest more frequently if you want to get a bigger chest right so how can you train it more frequently if you don't recover it means you need recovery let's talk about protein is anyone in this chat here vegetarian or vegan before i get started feel free to say so um proteins fish meat eggs beans tofu so many different options for proteins so many okay it's not only from one source okay so it is important to get in these are your building blocks everyone knows protein is associated with muscle building your body needs it for recovery just so you can also recover and then hit your muscles again if you guys really really want the secret to building a big chest okay you're gonna be able to train frequently but you're gonna make sure you are recovered if you don't recover you can it's very easy to sustain injuries like chest injuries as well so i don't really recommend hitting your chest while it's still sore or while it's still, recom it's still recovering make sure it's fully recovered get some stretching in you know get a massage in get all your recovery tools in because recovery is super important sleep super important okay don't don't play on your sleep don't at all you guys if you get good sleeping your training will be good your energy will be good what you can do to make you unstoppable okay so please if you can prioritize your sleep okay and this is just a few little things i want to bring to your attention see if i can help you guys as much as possible now does anyone have any questions while we're here also guys i'm releasing daily so please turn on post notifications check out my daily workout it's going to help you guys my whole workout stream reps sit you get this for free i'm a personal trainer i'm a coach as well too i write programs and i'm also offering you free videos with my whole training and how my day went as well too nutrition is also going to be coming soon so stay tuned but like i said make sure you check it out watch your videos to the end to support me i appreciate you massive shout out to bra so much a lot of my videos been commenting been super chatting i really really appreciate that you guys are the real mvps um you know it's still a lot of my day to come in here and still make content for you guys so i always want to help you guys as much as possible but please help me so that youtube can boost my algorithm as well my videos can get seen by more it also motivates me to keep going okay. while i'm here does anyone have any questions at all does anyone have any questions at all feel free to drop in the comments guys Hey guys, if anyone doesn't have any questions, the boy is gonna have to clock out. First of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Massive shout out again to Graph Language for the donation. Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a lovely day, lovely rest of the night, wherever you're from. Much love and respect. Peace.